dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars, and I have a story to tell you about my young childhood. It had to do with one of my very first jobs that I ever had, and that was picking blackberries with my sister. And uh, we lived in the country, and you had to go quite some ways for a young, very young child. Yet it was quite some ways over the the fields to get to the blackberry patches that were the best and we had an idea that we were going to pick a bucket full of blackberries a day for a couple of days and we were going to sell them by the basket I forget what you call it the not the tiny basket like raspberries are in now but the larger basket that you don't find oh yeah like uh, the smaller tomato basket in the supermarket. We're going to sell them in those baskets. Of course, they were wood baskets in those days. To my mother, for her to use for, for our family, at 15 cents a basket. And if it was a more extended family member, like uh, one of our cousins or uncles and aunts and grandparents, we were going to sell, sell them, if possible, for 25 cents a basket and we actually had some potential customers lined up so early in the morning around nine o'clock in the morning right before it got too hot just when the blackberries got ripe my sister and I went out successfully avoided the cows in the field always after chasing us because they thought we had food for them <laughs> and they used to frighten us so we skirted around the side of the field with the cow and the woods with the cows in them and successfully avoided their attention and then we headed for the blackberry patches on the on the edges and fences around the fences of the fields picked tons of blackberries right that was the first day brought them all home mom wanted all of those we had scratches all over our legs. <laughs> and that night, I remember dreaming about fields and fields of blackberries. Not with like bushes and cows and trees and stuff, but just mountains of blackberries everywhere. <laughs> and even at a young age, I was pretty... Um, pretty introspective, you know, and I got to thinking that the way that we occupy ourselves during the day, the occupation that we have, whether we get paid for it or not, determines our dreams, you know. It has a lot to do with our astral life. And so, Thinking, I've been thinking all these years about that, about, about how important it is to figure out the things to do with my life that'll elevate my dreams the most. So I thought I'd share that with you. And uh, I wish you dreams of wonderful things all night, every night, of the type of things that you really want for yourself that you want to manifest in your life. And I wish you daytimes and, and full of the kind of occupation that makes you the very happiest.